In one of our previous lessons, we learned about CSRF attacks. Our solution was to use post method on any route, on any view functions that changes the data in our database. However, that alone wasn't enough to protect our app. Before we go ahead and implement proper CSRF protection on our application, I just want to demonstrate to you how an attack could happen. Once again, I'm going to use the same example, creating a new blog post on Next Academy's blog. Now, Next Academy's blog has nothing to do with our inventory management application. This is a new post. I injected some JavaScript code in here. Okay, give it give the blog a name. I'll publish the blog post. Now, before I visit the post, let's take a look what we have in the database. We only have one store with the name Hello Store. I'm going to copy the link. Open a private browser. The reason why I'm opening a private browser is to demonstrate to you that this could happen on any computer anywhere in the world. I'm going to paste the link, right? So imagine a user visits this blog post. Visits this blog post, he or she doesn't know what happened, okay? But now let's look at our database. Guess what? We have a new store created, Hello World. And this came from here. Essentially what we did was we made a JavaScript post request to create store with the form data. And let's look at our class log. Sure enough, create store was called. As you can see, our app is still rather insecure. To implement proper CSRF protection, let's use a package to help us with that. First, I'm going to install Flask WTF. Okay, run pip install. As always, after you have installed a new package, you want to freeze your dependencies to requirements.txt once again. I already have the code here. I'm just going to uncomment it. Now I'm going to start Flask server again. I'm going to modify this post to use a new store name, right? So that it's not currently in our database. Okay, I'll update that. And now let's visit this post again. Done. Let's take a look. No new stores were created. Why was that? Okay, we see that a new post request was made. There was a HTTP code of 400. Okay, that means the request did not get through to our view function. Great, we have protected this route from any potential attacks. But how about our form? Would we be able to create new stores using our form? To do that, let's go back to our store form. I'll create a new store. I'll call it a new store 223. Okay, I click add a store. I'm getting bad requests. The CSRF token is missing. To solve this problem, let's go to our form. And all we really need to do is include this line. Input type hidden so that the users don't actually see it on the browser. All right, and include CSRF token. Now let's try this form once again. Okay, I'm just going to reload the page, key in the store name, click add a store. Successfully saved. Check the database. Surely we do have a new store created. If we look under the hood of the form, let's inspect element. Notice that there is a hidden input field called CSRF token with a random string. The package essentially generated this random string so that when a post request is made, we check if this string is valid or not. That's how you properly protect yourself from any sort of CSRF attacks. Now, there's a lot of other things you can do. To know what you can do, take a look at the documentation page for Flask-WTF. Right? So this is where I got the input um, hidden input field from. And on top of that, occasionally, you know, let's say we had a search form and we don't want any sort of CSRF protection on a search form. We could easily exam a particular route from CSRF protection. So this way, any sort of CSRF checks would be skipped for only this route. On top of that, remember the page where we saw CSRF token is missing? You can customize that page. To customize that page, just copy this code and go to um, server dot py and we'll just put it somewhere up here okay and then we'll create a new template you know show some error and uh, this is how you can customize your app 
to look the way you want it to look. One last thing, Flask WTF is a form library to help you generate forms. We will not be using WT forms to help us generate forms. We are only using this package to help us implement CSR protection.